So now let's see where we can install Python. Installation of Python is quite simple. You simply need to Google and say download Python. So if you go over here, uh, you're gonna see the latest version that is uh, Python 3.9. Now prior to uh, 3.9, there is a version two as well. Basically there are two popular version in Python. One is Python 2.7 and one is the latest Python 3, right? And uh, the best thing in uh, these two versions are, they both are different. So it's not like uh, Python 3 is not backward compatible. Backward compatible means that uh, in case you may have installed Java, you may have started with Java 1. JDK 1 1.5, then 1 1.6, then 1.7, 1 1.8. So 1.8 supports all features of 1 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, but it's not in the case of uh, Python 3. So if we, you are installing Python 3, Python 3 has got all different features. It is not backward compatible. It does not support uh, the features that were there in Python 2. But both the uh, versions are popular in, the, in, an, in industry. Python 3 is uh, the latest one. The maximum people are working on Python. If you are starting from beginning, we will be using the latest version only because Python 3 is highly secured as compared to Python 2, right? So we'll be using all the latest features only. So uh, we're gonna start our core Python programming and even all the automation concepts we'll be using, we'll be using the latest Python 3 itself. So as of today, the latest version is uh, 3.9.0. So if I click on this, uh, see I've already uh, downloaded this, you're going to get a exe file. So if I open this exe file, let's do the complete installation. And uh, this is the very first screen you're going to get. Uh, my Windows is 64 bit. So uh, in case you have a 32 bit, you'll be getting the 32 bit version over here. Then this is the important stuff that you need to do is add Python to the path. So path is basically your environment variables. If you click this, it will automatically gonna get added. If not, then you need to manually do it, right? Why this is required? Because uh, if we do this, it means that we can access Python globally from any location from our machine, right? So even there are, uh, Many other uh, integration we may gonna do uh, if they need the access of Python. So Python is globally available in your environment variables. You need not to uh, suggest the path where exactly Python is there on your machine. So that is what the uh, global configuration means. So now if I click on install now, so it is going to install all Python uh, libraries. The setup process is very straightforward, like you, you are installing a simple software. So just you need to do next, next, and Python will gonna get installed on your machine. So Python, uh, once Python is installed, it is actually going to give uh, you something uh, called as a Python interpreter and something that is called as pip. So pip is basically uh, something similar to Maven. What, what PIP is, we're gonna discuss about it uh, later on because at this moment we don't require uh, PIP, but that is something uh, which is uh, like a package manager. So there are a lot of uh, third party integrations uh, we need to do, a lot of uh, other softwares or packages that we uh, that our uh, basic program is relied upon like if we talk about selenium if we talk about apm these are all third party softwares that will be integrated that we are going to integrate it with our basic core python part so all these components will be installed using python pip itself right so we're going to see uh, those things very soon once we start doing those integration Right. So once the setup is successful, you can just close it and in the command prompt, uh, you can type Python hyphen hyphen version should actually going to show you the current version of Python on your machine. Right. I'm going to show you a detailed installation on Mac as well in our uh, next uh, in, in the next section itself. 
but uh, over here i mean installation remains the same even if you type python hyphen hyphen version on mac or linux by default it is actually going to show you uh, the version 2.7 and then what you need to do uh, in order to uh, see the latest version that will going to cover in the mac session itself and that will remain same for linux as well right so if i write uh, python over here i should be uh, able to enter into the uh, integrated development environment uh, i can write some python code over here like i can write a print statement so print uh, i want to print my name over here and then i press enter it is actually going to print this or i can do a lot of other stuff which is which is very very simple like uh, i can do two plus two and it will actually going to show you four right then you can do some more stuff like you can do two into uh, two will be the same stuff two into six twelve right you can do division so you can say four divided by two and you can see that it is giving you two but it is also adding uh, a decimal point as well over here this is because when you're dividing some stuff at times it may happen that if you divide uh, five divided by two, then you may gonna get the answer in decimal as well. But in case you don't want to see these decimal, then you can do four and write it two times and then two. So this way it is not going to show you the decimal values, right? So see how easy, how easy is to write the Python code. And what else you can do? Let's say you write 10 into three, plus four so if you press enter it is going to give you 34 so what it did is it has done 10 into 3 plus and then it has uh, added four but in case you want to add three uh, plus four first and then multiply it with 10 then you can add this thing in brackets so this is same like a board mass rule right so first bracket will be executed and then it will be multiplied. So whenever you install Python, so there's a by default editor that gets installed, which is something called as idle. So you can do all these stuff that we are doing over here in the command prompt, you can do directly in this editor as well, like three plus two, right? Three minus three. So same stuff, you can print something, print your name over here, so this is a by default editor uh, that you're going to see uh, that gets installed once you install Python, right? But we are not going to use this editor. We are not going to use any online compiler. We are not going to use command prompt. Uh, we are going to use one of the most popular editors. There, there are many IDs available, IDE as in integrated development environment. There are many IDs available uh, like on, on web. Uh, that is Eclipse is there, which is very popular. IntelliJ is there, NetBeans is there. For Python specifically, which is very popular and specifically designed for Python, that is called as PyCharm. So we'll be installing something that is called as PyCharm. So PyCharm will gonna give you a lot of suggestions, uh, the order suggestions uh, while working on Python code, while writing the Python scripts. So, and this is one of the very popular editor, very widely used in industry. So it, uh, we have uh, a paid version of PyCharm as well, and we have got uh, open source community edition as well. So we'll be working on the, the free version itself. And uh, we need not to uh, worry about uh, the community version or the free version because we can do all the integration that we want. We can integrate all our automation uh, tools like Selenium, APM, uh, uh like api part right so the python part that we need to understand is basically the core part and the complete core part is supported in pycharm right so that's about this lecture in the next lecture we'll be installing pycharm and we're going to look at a couple more features of pycharm all right thank you